Hey, what's up everyone? This is Wicked Android HD and uh, I know it's been a while since I last posted a video about Marshmallow. It was actually my latest one, but tonight I will show you a Sierra Droid version 6 Android based on Android 6.0 Marshmallow and uh, let's get into into the real business. I will show you <clears throat> first of all I know a lot of you guys been asking me about the battery life of every ROM I'm testing. So uh, for pur info information purposes, uh, from now on I will show you the best the battery percentage at the beginning of the video and of course at the end of the video. So uh, it's 45 percent right now, and uh, we'll have the best. It will consume less power than uh, the previous. <coughs> previous alpha build <coughs> based on Android Marshmallow so as you may see Android version 6.0 Marshmallow we have that uh, uh, little little game like you know Flappy Bird one which I'm never gonna win but either way so Sierra Droid 6.0.0 developed for GFLT XX it's based of course on Cyanogen mode Dragon Fruit 4 and uh, it's running Cyanogen mode kernel, so everything is based on uh, CM right here. Uh, of course, I will start with the negative parts of this ROM, uh, and uh, then I will make a comparison between the design, the performance, the smoothness, everything related to this uh, beautiful ROM. So, first of all, box. <clears throat> I don't know if you noticed or if you already tried marshmallow you would know that you can't change between mobile network types so if we go into sorry cellular networks you will get these um, preferred network type so you are supposed to choose either uh, advo or cdme a or gsm only but for example, if we choose GSM only, it won't change. It will remain the same GSM slash WCDMEA and or LTE. That doesn't mean it won't be able to auto change. It will auto change between uh, these three uh, network modes, but you aren't capable of uh, selecting uh, one of these independently. So. Yep, that's a pretty major bug. Now, all of you guys ask me about the camera. So, is the camera working properly? For me, it is. But, we have some kind of a major problem. As you may see here, I got a cursor. And let me take a picture. So, I took a picture of this cursor. And if I go right here in the, in the gallery app, you may see the image is rotated. And uh, it's actually cropped I think it's pretty cropped so yep um, camera is not working as it should be but instead of this I've been playing with the, the ROM for a couple of minutes and I gotta say that uh, I haven't found any kind of problems now first of all that uh, got my attention first first of all first thing that got uh, my attention about this ROM was uh, the new uh, animations that are shown where you open the uh, an app for example so if we open a clock as you may see the app is expanded is expanding from the center to the upper part and to the down part of the screen so like this let me open the settings to show you like this or the phone app like this and everything is pretty smooth and fast so we're gonna get into the design part so when we talk about the design part, part when I when I talk about the design part, I like to present you guys every single thing that you can do to you know to customize your your device uh, with the stock stock uh, implemented settings. So for example, we have here in personal personal category status bar, and we have a couple of uh, settings you can customize. We can't, uh, we still can't customize these styles here, unfortunately. But uh, I hope the best. I hope we'll be able to, in the following uh, future releases. But you can uh, set your clock, 
you can uh, show your weather so as you may see like right here brush of minus one degree Celsius um, and I don't know if you notice but I do have this year droid logo right here in the upper left part of the screen so it's your droid logo of course you can hide super user indicator if you don't have the super user application installed so uh, speaking about the design it could be better so I would give this ROM a strong 8 out of 10 uh, because I am expecting I'm expecting a hell of a lot more from uh, a um, CM CM port, CM based ROM so CM is well known for highly customizability highly featureable settings and uh, you know these sort of things so having uh, a couple of personalization settings it's not such a great advantage so I would uh, know this as a uh, uh, 8 of out of 10 so I think it's fair enough now let's get into the performance part and uh, uh, as the latest video on the marshmallow I am truly astonished about uh, how fast and how smooth it behaves right now with these new animations everything looks even smoother I have to admit and um, no that's pretty cool so I will open some apps, and in order to, in order to, for you to make an idea of how fast it is, and of course I'm gonna make a phone call as I do always do. Uh, so let me dial a number, for example, four one five. So click, and it's instantaneously. So dialing a note. What? Okay, I don't know what the heck was that, but you can. Oh yeah, so I received the message. Let me show you the lock screen and how it looks like. So this is how the lock screen looks like. Again, another thing that uh, is different from the previous port, uh, the previous uh, release on Marshmallow for Galaxy S4 is the wallpaper, which is always the most important, uh, uh, you know, factor when you flash. Uh, in my opinion, when you flash a new ROM, because you will stay with the first the first impression matters always so the wallpaper always matters and i hope this is a, and i think this is a very minimalistic one so it fits the best it fits best even uh, on the lock screen so this is how the lock screen looks like uh, i don't know if you noticed but uh, right here in the in the corner the left corner uh, you you will get this voice uh, icon instead of the phone app so if you slide right there you'll get into Google now and um, I don't know if you can customize that really buttons let's get into the button so enable on-screen navigation bar you know what this is all about so power menu yep you can add a screenshot option you can encode you can up uh, wake up the device and you have a bunch of uh, different actions that your buttons can do. You, we have gestures, so um, hand wave, pocket, proximity wake, uh, everything related to the sensors. Um, what else? Of course, it benefits of uh, the all marshmallow new features, like the ability to see how much RAM uh, you have. So its own. Uh, it uh, now benefits of its own task manager you can customize the permissions per apps and so on uh, right now I saw that CM integrated the system profiles feature in this uh, marshmallow release which is again a step forward um, so performance you saw it's fast so let's open up some apps then switch back and forth in order to, sh to show you how fast it is so this is the first time I opened up Google Play Store. It had to build up some uh, some cash. Yeah, you will. I don't say it's perfect, but you will notice some uh, you know frame drops from time to time. It's normal, but uh, I have to admit, uh, Marshmallow releases are the fastest uh, you could get on your Galaxy S4. 
the calculator. I really like this animation, believe me. I hope you do like. I will show you from the side how beautiful it looks like though. Like this, yeah. yeah really nice touch. Um, again, clock widget. And uh, yeah, these are the Google Apps that came with the gaps. Okay, so. This is your Droid. It's an alpha release. You'll find it uh, in the XDA thread right down below. Let's talk about right now. Let's talk about the battery life because I know it's very important for you guys. We talked about the bugs. We talked about the pros and the cons and the design, the performance. You saw that it is fast. Well, let's take a look at the battery percentage. So it was 45% at the beginning of the video, and right now it is 41%. Take in mind that I'm running at full brightness with the Wi-Fi on and uh, mobile data. No, it's not. Uh, it's not on. So yeah, so full brightness. Uh, you know that uh, Marshmallow and the latest Android uh, film OS are actually kind of based on white. So everything is white, like the settings app, like the you know the phone app and so on, the messaging app. Everything is white, and that isn't really a good, uh, good point for AMOLED screens because AMOLED screens it's less battery when uh, used on black, uh, black background, for example. So black pixels use this, uh, use uh, less battery life than white pixels. So it's uh, pretty fair to have 41%. Uh, I think it's really a good, uh, good step forward. So yeah, that kind. Uh, of summarizes all I I needed to tell you about this latest ROM, your Droid uh, Alpha release running Android Marshmallow 6.0. So I hope you like it, guys. If you did, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel. It helped me a lot. Uh, it keeps me motivating doing this uh, kind of reviews, these types, of, these type of reviews. And uh, again, thank you for watching, guys. This was Wicked Android HD. Bye bye.